Hi guys. If you haven't done so already, please take a moment and click on the link to take the FSA training test, work through the settings, and be sure to select begin test now. You can pause this video if you need to while you do that, but once you've done that, once you've selected begin test now, please listen as I read the testing script. Listen as I describe the screen. In the top left-hand corner of your screen, you will see the navigation buttons. <clears throat> the back and next buttons can be used to move to the previous or the next question. The back button is currently deactivated because you're on the first question, but it will be available for later questions. Click next now. Because you have not entered an answer for this question, you'll see a pop-up message that warns you that you have not entered a response to one or more items on the page. If you wanted to proceed without answering, you would select yes. To remain on the page, you would select no. At this time, click no to remain on question one. To the right of the next button, you'll see the save button. The save button allows you to manually save your work. This is an optional feature. If you do not select this button, your answer will be saved automatically every two minutes or when you go to the next question. Look to the right of the save button where you'll see the pause button. The pause button allows you to pause and exit the test. Do not select pause at this time. Are there any questions? If so, please ask your teacher. <clears throat> Now, I will describe several tools that may help you with this computer-based practice test, and you will practice using them. At the top right corner of your screen, you will see the formulas, line reader, and zoom buttons. Select the formulas tool. A pop-up window displaying the Geometry EOC FSA Mathematics Reference Sheet will appear. You will need to scroll all the way down, and if necessary, use the horizontal scroll bar at the bottom of the screen to see all the information on the reference sheet. Take a moment to scroll through the information presented in the formulas window. Move the formulas window around the screen by clicking on the bar in the top window and dragging it to another part of the screen. Now, close the formulas window by clicking the X in the circle at the top right corner of the window. Next to the formulas button, you'll see the line reader button. The line reader tool helps you track line by line as you read a question. Now select line reader. When you have selected the tool, the button will turn orange. Select the first sentence in this question and the line reader will move to that line. You can move the line reader on the screen with the up and down arrows on your keyboard or by clicking on a line of text with your mouse. Practice using the line reader tool on the screen. Now select line reader again to turn off the tool. The button will revert to its original color. Note that the line reader tool will turn off when you use some of the tools like zoom or are answering certain item types on the test. Next to the line reader button, you'll see the zoom out and zoom in buttons. You can use these buttons to decrease and increase the size of text within the test page. Four levels of magnification are available. Now, practice using the zoom out and zoom in buttons to find the text size with which you are most comfortable. At the top right side of the page, above the zoom buttons, you'll see a small question mark button. This is the help button. Now, click the help button. A pop-up window with the help guide, including overview of the test site, test rules, and accessing context menu tools will display. Note that, as with the formulas window, you can drag this pop-up window around the page if needed. You can resize the window using the blue resizing handle on the bottom right corner. Holding your mouse down, drag the blue icon with four arrows or down to resize the window. Release the mouse when the text box is the size you want. This is the same screen that you have reviewed before beginning the practice test. These instructions remind you how to navigate from one item to the next and how to use the tools and features in the testing platform. Take a moment to scroll through these instructions. Raise your hand if you have any questions about the information in the help guide or ask your teacher. Now, close the help guide by clicking the X in the circle at the top right corner of the help guide. If there are any questions about these tools, please ask your teacher at this time. Now, look to the right of the question number and find three horizontal lines in a circle. This is the context menu. Click the lines to open the context menu. First, you'll see a circle with a lowercase i, a flag icon, a notepad, and a grayed outline that says highlight selection. Select the lowercase i. This is the tutorial tool. A pop-up window will open that displays a video tutorial of this item type. There is no sound available for this tutorial. You can also access the tutorial by right-clicking, if available on your device, in the question and answer area and selecting tutorial. Now close the video tutorial by clicking the X in the circle at the top right corner of the pop-up window. Now select the context menu, then click the flag icon for mark for review. This feature allows you to flag a question that you might want to review at a later time. You can mark an item for review by using the context menu or by right clicking, if available on your device, 
in the question and answer area and selecting mark for review. Once you mark an item for review, the solid rectangle around the item number will show the top right corner folded over. A flag icon will appear next to the item number, and the item number in the drop-down list in the top left corner of the screen will have a flag icon next to the number. Just wait a moment while the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Here are today's announcements. If you're a sophomore or a junior with a 3.0 GPA or higher, and are, and are interested